Hello everyone, today we are doing the lecture for motor control and learning, which is lab 10. We'll start on the first slide. The nervous system, a two-part system of the human body that produces movement and action. The central nervous system is also known as the CNS, and the peripheral nervous system, the PNS. Moving on to the next slide, talk about the central nervous system. It's composed of the brain and spinal cord. It is responsible for receiving signals from the sensory nerves, interpreting information, and initiating nerve impulses to the muscles that create movement. Next slide, peripheral nervous system. Neural tissue outside of the brain and spinal cord. So all nervous tissue outside of the brain and spinal cord is a peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system divides into two parts, the somatic and autonomic systems. The somatic system is a voluntary system responsible for sensory and motor nerves. The autonomic system is involuntary and is responsible for internal systems. And the, or the autonomic breaks down into two complementary parts. That's the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. Next slide, we're going to talk about the parasympathetic system. It's responsible for housekeeping, so it slows down the heart rate, decreases metabolism, that's what the parasympathetic system does. Next slide is the sympathetic system. It is a troubleshooter. So you've heard of the flight or fight response. So it speeds up metabolic response, increases heart rate, basically gets the body physically ready to move and act. Neurons. Neurons are building blocks of the nervous system. Nerve impulses are transmitted via neurons. Neurons are made up of three parts, the cell body, the axon, and the dendrites. Next slide, the cell body, also called the soma, processes information and decides actions. The axon is made up of myelin sheath, Schwann cells, and nodes of Ranvier. They take information away from the cell body. And dendrites bring information towards the cell body. And you can see a picture there of the makeup of a neuron. Next slide, types of neurons. Three types. Afferent is sensory. Efferent is motor and interneuron. And there's a schematic there, A15, that shows uh, afferent, efferent neurons. Afferent neurons carry nerve impulses from sensory receptors to the brain or spinal cord. They do not produce movement. Next slide is efferent or motor neurons. They send impulses from the brain down the spinal cord to the muscles. These do produce movement. So efferent neurons produce muscle movement. Next slide is the interneuron. Interneuron relays information from the afferent neurons to the efferent neurons. Example, step on attack reaction. So you step on attack, your sensory uh, neuron brings the information to the spinal cord. Interneuron there understands what's going on, sends information back out the motor neuron and movement is caused. Okay, so that's what happens with your inner neuron. And there's a nice picture there showing what's going on. Motor control. Next slide. The study of organization of the CNS for coordination of movement. It is concerned with the physiological and structural function aspects of movement production and coordination. Motor learning. Area of study focusing on understanding the execution of motor processes and the variables that mediate their execution. So motor learning is made up of knowledge of results, feedback, transfer, and practice. And today, um, the part of this lab where we're actually, the activity part of this lab, we're focusing on feedback, and you'll see that in the video. Feedback is the most important variable for motor performance outside of physical practice. Two types of feedback, intrinsic, which is inherent and occurs as a result of movement, and extrinsic is information from performance provided by artificial fashion. So when you watch the data video, um, you're going to see me giving some extrinsic feedback, uh, and then Sam himself will have a little bit of intrinsic feedback from his pre previous throws. So that's what we're looking at there when you see and watch the video. Next slide is extrinsic feedback, qualitative. Knowledge of results indicates that performance was short, long, fast, slow, correct, or incorrect. Quantitative. Knowledge of results indicated with direction or magnitude of error. And then next slide is motor behavior. The study of variables and processes that contribute to the performance or behavior of the actor. 
So motor behavior is concerned with functional, mental, and or psychological aspects of performance. Those include reaction time, attention, memory, and movement time. All right, that is it for this lecture. Uh, you guys have a good one.